few structures in America combine architectural ingenuity, economic necessity, and romantic idealism better than the covered bridge. Today, there are just over 100 authentic covered bridges in the state of Vermont, giving it the highest number of covered bridges per square mile in the United States. Producer Dave Fraser and videographer Mark Langevin went in search of these bridges and started their journey with a visit to the Bennington Covered Bridge Museum in Bennington, Vermont. I think the, the fact that they're still in use, they're not monuments. The historic covered bridges here, in most cases, have outlasted steel bridges. The steel bridges rust. You know, look at the bridges in the interstates that have fallen down, concrete. I don't think there's ever been an accident caused by a covered bridge failure. The purpose was to preserve the bridge surface. One of the great uh, myths is, is that they, it was to keep the snow off the bridge. It was the opposite. You had to snow the bridge in the winter so the sleds could go through. And that was a, what was called snowing the bridge. And the fact that they were built without any heavy equipment, I mean, nobody had a backhoe then. No, nobody had a front end loader or cranes or anything. And somehow they worked out with teams of horses how to pull up those trusses and get them built. We are the western entrance to Vermont. This is totally unique. There's no other one in the world like it. They learn about how they were first built, how they got better built more and more, how they were protected, and, and uh, what materials were used. Uh, very anti-rot kind of material. Cypress was a, a big one. Oak was another big one. Uh, in Vermont, there once was over 600. We now think the number is 103 and a half. The three and a half are the ones that go across the river to New Hampshire. So that's what we only claim half of those. The original truss design in the old barns was the same thing they used to build the first covered bridges. And then they, as, as they wanted to build longer and longer covered bridges, they had to go to these different kinds of trusses that we have exhibits of here. We find when people come here, they are just absolutely fascinated with the way this all came about. Our late Senator Jim Jeffords got a $10 million bill put through Congress for the preservation of covered bridges. And that's one reason why even the ones that got damaged always get restored. They are their top priority. And I think the fact that you can now drive through them, you can walk through them, a lot of people will petition their town to shut down the covered bridge for an afternoon so they can have a wedding in the covered bridge. And I think people that are used to the modern world and don't think about what was built 150, 200 years ago, when they see what was built, how it was built, and how well it stood up, are, are fascinated by it. <laughs>